This flow can make you a documentation pro. You're going to download the flow and drop it into the Langflow projects. You'll notice that it's going to be available in the projects. And once you open that, you'll see there are two different flows. So the first flow is where you are going to provide the website for the documentation. So in this case, I'm saying that I want to read and understand the docs at ShadCN. This is a popular UI library. And once you provide the documentation link, you are going to run the first flow by hitting play button on the store message component and once you hit run you're going to notice in the playground that our flow extracted a bunch of urls and all of these are from the documentation website where it goes through the nesting of the links or urls on the website and captures all of them so now with that we can start asking question and the way it works is that we have a chat input and we have all of these flows the only thing you're going to need to do in some versions is you might have to activate the tool mode here for the url component component and then attach that as a tool to the agent and with that it is saved for us and now we can start asking questions so if i were to ask question how to add a slider to my app it knows the documentation and the links for those and then based on the question it provided us with the answer and it provided us with a few different options for installation as well as the usage and how we can add a particular ui component to our website this is super handy if you read through a lot of documentation or code or so where there are multiple links and it can browse for you and search through the web pages available on that URL.